Yo, 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 what is up, people? It's Vesti here, and today I'm going to be talking about World War II, the new Call of Duty that will be coming out real soon, which I actually will actually pre order today or tomorrow or the next day, but nevertheless, I'll pre order it soon because that game, that game better be good. That game better be good for me, I mean it now. Now, as for the people who watch my videos know, I'm already pissed off with PlayStation as it is. Like, PlayStation have pissed me off, they've banned my account, what the fuck, they've banned it in the past for no reason. Oh yeah, alright, fair enough, there was a reason why I got banned, it's because I was underage. But, there's so many people who play that are underage. Anyway, I'm not going to hold a grudge, but what they did recently, for those who watch my videos, is that they banned my account. Again, like, they didn't ban it, but they blocked it, so it was like, on some protection, I don't know what it's called, but it's like some protection, protection? I mean, protection lead or something like that anyway i say i got my account back two or three weeks later and i haven't got any like money off it like they haven't given me any psn codes for free or anything but you know i'm like you know i'm i'm grateful i have my account i'm not gonna bother with psn i have my account i'm gonna keep it as that i'm a happy man but nevertheless getting back to what this video is about world war ii the new call of duty is gonna be an interesting call of duty it's gonna be interesting because these last couple of years the call of duty that they've been coming out with wait oh wait let me think how many years has it been one two three i'd say maybe approximately alive? three years now two or three years like they've, they've been bad like me personally i don't like them i mean there's people out there who do like them but i'm saying from personal opinion i don't like any of the call of duties that have come out in the last two or three years apart let me finish let me finish apart from call of duty modern warfare remastered because that's it's, it's old school yeah. it's, it's old school it's cod for call of duty remastered it's original it's a good game and they've remastered it very well and i'm very 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 happy that they've been that but world war 2 like i mean there was world war 1 which was world of war but I, believe, I don't know if it was World War One, but it was called World at War. So they've released World War. Well, they've released that a while ago. I don't even know when they've released that, but it was a while ago. And now they're releasing World War Two, which seems interesting to be honest. Like the name itself is World War Two. Which makes it sound interesting because Call of Duty fans know Call of Duty 5, World at War. That was a great game. That was absolutely a great game. A smashing game. I love that game so much. That game was brilliant. I really do love that game. Now, Call of Duty fans do know that the new Call of Duty that's coming out, World War 2, there ain't gonna be no extra jumping, there ain't gonna be no jetpacking, there is gonna be none of that. Certain I mean, they might have to drive jumping if that's what it's called, or some sort of snake movement that he can do on the floor. You know how cool it can do. They're smart with their movement, they're smart with what they do, but nevertheless, it's not gonna be jetpacking at all. No jetpacking, no exo jump, none of all of that stuff there. Run the walls, skateboarding across the map. Not skateboarding. You get the point. Now, it's interesting. It is interesting when you think about it because it's going back to its roots for the Duty with, you know, it being basically, I wouldn't say a war game, but it potentially portrays an image of war. Like, it's it's called World War II. Like, thinking back at some of the old names of Call of Duty. Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare. Call of Duty World of War. Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which is Modern Warfare 2. Call of Duty Black Ops. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and uh, I might not get this in order of visit. I think it was Call of Duty Ghost that came out before Call of Duty Call of Duty and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now I'm not too sure but I stopped following Call of Duty. I still of course I still bought the game but I stopped playing it mainly for the main reason being that I just wasn't happy with Call of Duty. It just got to a point where it was ridiculous. It wasn't realistic for me anymore. It just it just demotivated me to come on the game and make videos. Like even now to come on the game and making videos like I didn't I didn't feel motivated enough to do that. It just felt so rubbish. Like, it didn't feel like a game I wanted to invest my time into. Like I'd rather play FIFA maybe or just go back to one of the previous two games, which I did. I used to play one of the two fight a lot. I used to play one of the three fight a lot. I used to play one of the two fight a lot. And these are all games with no extra jumping, you know, jetpacking, all of that stuff there. You know, it, it's just it's just not my style. It's really, really not my style. I hate it. I hate it so much. But I mean, Call of Duty tried it out, and some people liked it. I think, in my opinion, some of the newer generation liked it, but some of the older generation didn't like it. But some of the older generation did like the jetpacking, and some of the newer generation didn't like it. So it's just, I reckon it's, it was like a 50-50. But I'm just saying, me personally, like I don't want to get roasted in the comments. But me personally, I just think it was it wasn't worth it. Like I, I wouldn't if I could go back in time now and spend that forty pound or fifty pound or something else. That's how much I bought it for. I can't even remember. Like, that's how much I don't care about the game. To be honest with you, like if I could go back in time and say, you know, 
what, I'm not gonna buy this for you. I'm gonna save this money up and buy like a decent headset or something. Because like, back then, you know, we had like Turtle Beach balls that were like 30, 40 pounds, which is still decent, it's still good money. But you know, I'm just getting, I'm getting a bit. Of that bit. Like, why am I starting? I'm getting a bit off topic here because I want to talk about a new Call of Duty, but I, I've just got so much to say about the previous Call of Duties that have come out. Now, Call of Duty World War II. Let me get back on the topic. No extra jumping, no jetpacking, straight on the ground warfare. Straight on the ground. Now, to be honest, like some people say that Call of Duty fell off throughout the years and that, you know, we used to game to come up like Battlefield, Rainbow Six, which is a fairly ugly game, fairly really ugly game. I don't pay them personally, but I've got friends who do and you know, I say it's fairly a good game and I'm not gonna argue that I don't play it. I don't know if they're good games or not. But I just take it as, you know what, they're good. A lot of people play it, so it must be good. Now, with the new Call of Duty that's coming out on the ground, I feel as if it has potential. It has potential to be one of the best selling games of, I don't know about saying this year, but possibly next year, because now they've put brought out, well, on the ground, I, I'm guessing that the next Call of Duty will bring out and be on the ground again. Because I heard rumors about there's not going to be any work, so jumping or any more jetpacking, so, which is good, which I like. Now, if the new Call of Duty is from now on are on the ground, for the people who say that yeah cool of duty right, fell off cool of duty done this cool of duty done that cool of duty could possibly be back on an uprise because i personally feel like modern warfare 2 is when cool of duty was at its peak like there was slim shot in there was speeders there was plans there was mlg there was so much going on so much going on there was competitive sniping there was so much going on like that game was so good. I remember I used to run home after school to play that game. I love that game. Oh well, no, I don't know about running home after school, but I remember getting home and playing that game. I love that game. Till this day, I love that game so much. That's my favorite game of all. It's such a perfect game. The graphics, it's smooth. Everything about it is good. I love Modern Warfare 2. Anyway, does World War 2 have the potential to be as good as Modern Warfare 2? I mean, I don't see why it why it couldn't i don't see why it couldn't i didn't personally play the beta but people told me it's good so i don't personally see why it couldn't be as good as modern warfare 2 but what i do know is world war 2 is most likely most likely i'm not saying 100 percent but most likely it's going to be a very good game and I, mean, I don't really have much to say on it right now but i will be buying it and i'm just gonna say you know i'm gonna give a personal honest opinion on this game I don't like this game, but I love it. So make sure you stay tuned in because it's gonna be interesting. Anyway, it's been your boy Vesta here. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment your opinions on what you think World War 2 is going to be like. And you could really see your boy Vesta here. Peace. Just for the record, I'm gonna keep this video playing because I did get quite a nice baby. This game with a G3 and of weapons, of course. So uh, for those of you who like just seeing good KDs, you know, sit back, grab some food if you want because this is quite a good, a good KD actually that I managed to achieve on this game with the G3. I'm quite a proud man for achieving this KD. Anyway, once again, it's been your boy Vesta here. Peace.
Good work, Marines.